everybody. Welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. And I'm Kevin. And today's video is a learning on location at Shenandoah National Park. So this is the last park on our little mini traveling the parks vacation. So my favorite part of our Shenandoah National Park trip was actually just riding along the Skyline Drive. It's 100 miles of absolutely gorgeous scenery, especially in the fall. All the colors changing was absolutely beautiful. I will say when we first headed up, it was raining and so the cloud coverage was like right on the road. We were literally driving in the clouds. That part was a little bit scary. Thankfully, Kevin is an amazing driver because I could barely see the road. But once we were able to drive it and actually see, it was gorgeous. We were able to see some of the animals right outside of our window. And along the drive, they have visitor centers. While not completely open right now because of COVID, they still had the gift shops open and available. So we were able to pick up a few books and games and things like that. Um, and then there's wayside stations, like little service stations where you can pick up a bite to eat. There's plenty of different places you can hike. You can, you know, have a picnic. You can watch the sunset with these gorgeous views. It was was just so much in that 100 miles right off that main stretch that you could do and it was just beautiful and amazing. was Larea Caverns most definitely um, it was a blast a little bit of a drive it was about an hour from where we had been staying um, we had to fit it in it was wonderful when you first pull up very well disguised uh, a lot of gift shops a lot of buildings big parking lot doesn't look like there would be a cave anywhere in sight and then you go inside they give you your maps and you can look around a little bit of the history of when the cav uh, caverns were discovered and uh, other stuff to expect while you're there. And then we entered through a long hallway and it was breathtaking. What do you think? It was so awesome. There were lots of weird stalagmites and stalactites. Yes, they were. And huge columns. I'm talking about large columns. I've only been in one other cave in my life and it doesn't even, it doesn't hold a candle to it. This one we took picture after picture after picture. Everywhere you turn was a new view. Um, it, it was amazing. I thought so too. There were so many really cool things to look at and we saw some fallen stalagmites. Oh yeah, that big, the big column that had fallen? Yeah. That, that was crazy. Yeah, like just laying down. And remember when I asked you, what did that fall or was that originally there? And you said, yes, it fell. Oh, you could tell where it came out of the roof of the cave and had laid down where it had fallen. Mm -hmm. There was only one that had fallen, but there was also that big old pool. You remember oh, the big yeah. old pool of water? The, and um, that lady gave me a coin so I could throw on a, and make a wish. <laughs> yeah, there was quite a bit of money in there. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of Disney World. <laughs> yeah.
Which one is that that comes from the bottom, Emily? That is a stalactite. And the ones that come from the top? Are stalactites. And the small ones from the top? Are called straws. And the little tiny thin ones? Those are called ribbons. 